Hi everyone. So I primed my eyes, did all that. Oh, okay. So I don't know which colors I would have used. Um, I already used green. I mean, I can mix colors together like like spring colors. I never know what to do. Never. Like, I don't know why, but... And then plus, not only that, every single time I go to do my makeup, I never know what I'm going to do because I always switch it up at, like, the last minute. So, like, I'll say, like, I'll do one thing and then next thing you know, it's a whole other type of makeup. Look. Okay. So, I think I'm going to do the yellow and then do like a green and maybe or do like an um a pink a green and a blue I don't know we'll figure this out but I'm gonna go with yellow so I'm going to be using the 35b palette from Morphe so let's see how this plans out because like I said, the last time in my um, the video that I'm going to be posting up before this, I did a yellow look and I used this yellow, but this yellow wasn't really like listening. So you kind of have to probably dig your brush in there to get more payout from it because just going in like that does not do anything. Like you have to really dig 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 your brush in there like that and then you can just fan it out but i kind of want to do nice colors together Same on this side. My eye is getting so much better. It doesn't hurt as much anymore when I'm like cleaning my face off and putting on makeup is not as bad. I did my um, concealer today, as you saw, and it didn't hurt as much. So I'm pretty glad that that's good good sign that it's healing my niece slept over yesterday well last night not yesterday last night so she's here she's doing her homework And I just have one more paper left. One more paper left. And this teacher wants me to sum up. It's for my math. And she wants us to have, she like has this list for us to have, like not for us to have, but like a list of the things that she wants in our paper. And she wants us to keep it under two pages well to keep it exactly at two pages no more than two don't know how i'm gonna do that if she wants us to add all this stuff in there and i did every single thing that she told me to do and it's three pages some teachers don't make no sense like i don't get it like some teachers do not make sense so now i gotta go back in there and take out majority of the paper and then lose points regardless because it's not everything that she wants me to have in the paper so and on top of that she says that if we go more than two pages she's going to deduct points and tomorrow i have um to get my dog his little cakey because tomorrow's his gotcha day and I got to get him something. To get him a little cake or something like that. One day I'll show you guys him. Well, maybe I record it tomorrow. 
when I give him his little cakey. All right, so all I'm doing is still going in this because I don't feel like it's bright enough, but it'll do. So then I'm going to take and take the JS9 and I think I'm going to go in, I think I'm going to go into this color right here. Or this one maybe that one I'm gonna go in with that one and I'm gonna put that part on the side here blend that in Okay, so that's what it's looking like right now. I kind of want, like, I want to be different. So I think I'm going to take, like, a green that is in here. I don't know whether or not I want to use this green or this green. Yeah, it looks blue there, but it's green here. So I don't know if I want to use that one or that one. I might go in with that one. And put, I don't know, should I use the same brush? Let me go ahead with otro. And I'm going to take my JH33 brush. Just clean that off a little bit. Green. I'm going to pick some up. One thing I like about it is that it's going on very so lightly like it's going on so lightly it's one thing I like about it because then I could just build it up and it won't just look weird okay See how light that went on? Yes, I like that. I'm just doing windshield wiper motion, but like so lightly. Like, I'm And then I'm gonna go in again with my JH, JS9 brush, and I'm gonna take that orange color again and rebuild it here this one i'm gonna do windshield wiper motion but like really fan it out i'm gonna take my jh30 brush yeah jh30 and i'm just gonna go fan this out up here because that's where that yellow was at I'm loving this so far. <laughs> and, excuse me. I didn't think I would. But I'm going to go back in with that green color. And just put in a little bit more up here. And then now i got to figure out what color I want to put in the inside. This is going different colors. Okay. Something... Light purpley color. We're gonna check this out because I am going to be different. And do I want to do this one? Yeah, I'm gonna go in with my M433 brush. It already has purple on it because of my last look. So I'm just gonna take. Oh, I didn't even show you. I'm gonna take this color right here. And we're gonna see how well this goes on. Then it went on very light. So I like that. See it? 
because then you just build it up especially when you're going with light colors and you're trying to t stay in like the kind of pastel looking colors it's good to go in lighter and then digging your brush in there and the only reason why i went in really hard with the yellow was because it i wanted that to be a little bit more poppy and then i'm just gonna do that gonna look weird but it'll come together and then that looks pretty cool and then I'm gonna take that green again which is which was on the JH 33 and I'm gonna go and apply a little bit more to blend these two together Like I said, you always want your colors to blend. If they don't blend, it's not going to look seamlessly. Like it's going to look like you just threw on color and call it a day. <laughs> kind of want it to at least look decent. Always want to go in, like I said, lightly at first, especially when you're using like bright colors. Like let's say you're going to use a blue and you're trying to just do that all over the lid, you want to build it. Like you don't want to just throw on the blue because then it's going to be harder and it's going to take time to blend it out. So it's always good to go in very light and then start to build it up. Okay. So I'm going to go in again with that purple real quick. And bring it up here. Sometimes you're going to have to go back and forth with the colors so that way they do blend and that does take more time but if you want it to look decent then i suggest doing it that way yeah i'm actually liking this look like no joke I try to do something different because i'm always doing the same colors and it's really not what people actually want to see all the time so I'm trying to do different things and be different. Nothing wrong with being different. Just letting you know. And I'm just blending that out. And yeah, I always tend to go up high with my makeup because I got all this space that I'm just like, why not utilize it, right? And I'm going to go back into that orange color with the JH JS9 brush. Because like if you could see, it kind of disappeared right here. So I'm going to put a little bit more, fan that out. And then it's put some back in there. And the same with this side. Because when you go back over with certain colors, it takes away, well, actually it takes it away regardless, whatever color you're using because it's fanning it away, so. Okay. I'm actually really liking this. Like, it's so different. And once you put your like, mascara on, it's gonna look so much better. But I am gonna take the JH41, and I'm just gonna try and blend those two together because I feel like I need to get in there with a smaller brush. So I'm gonna go in with that lilac color first, like the purple, and I'm just gonna go right here to see if I can blend them two together. And I'm not going hard on it, I'm just taking my time. Yeah, that helped a lot. Okay, so then just do this. I'm not going anywhere, I think, today. Unless I decide to go to that thing today, but okay. I'm liking this, I'm liking this. Yada, 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 yada. Okay. So, I don't think I'm going to put glitter on today. 
I could, but I don't think I could probably put like maybe a tap of this green on here and just put taps. But I don't really think it's gonna do much because the shimmers in this palette aren't that great. So, I mean, I it went on a little bit, so. I'll go on this side with that too. For some reason, this eye never gets how I want it to. Yeah, that came out good. Okay. I'm just going to take this little brush because, like, I see, I don't know if it's me, but I see, like, a line. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, let me try and use this and put this on here, that green. But look where it stays, you see? It's like not even going on my eye and I'm using this shimmery color right here. It's not going on my eye. So it's like these the shimmers in these palettes don't, pan out and I see little patches of um of the green like I can uh, see and then gotta go back in <sighs> it's already been 25 minutes okay and then I'm gonna take that purple again and I'm going in with my M433 brush and I'm taking that purple, and I'm just bringing it up more. The more I blend it out, the more the color disappears. And so it's like you have to like put it on, fan it out, and leave it at that. So I think I'm going to take my highlighter though and put a little bit, nope, not the one. I'm gonna put a little bit in the middle. I'm gonna take my glazed donut over highlighter and I am going to just take some of it and put it um, in the middle just to give it some, like just that much. And then tap it on there because I'm not trying to take away from the color. I have to use my finger because nothing's really going on. Okay. That looks okay. I'm liking it. And it's still green. Okay. So I think I'm going to stop right here and I will be right back back to show you the completed look so i'll be right back so um this is the look but i was thinking that maybe i should put some lashes on so that way maybe i can show you guys how i put mine on um i don't normally wear my lashes because if i'm not going anywhere i don't put them on because i don't like wasting them I love lashes, so I try not to waste them. So all I do is take my little tweezers and I put them on here like this. This one goes on that side. I normally know which ones I want to put on right away because um, I like the whole wispy looking thing. And then I'm going to go in with my glue. This is kind of like I have to like... There we go. All right, so I gotta re put this on. I usually just do it like that. <laughs> I'm weird, but I just put it on the little line 
I don't know, sorry. Not used to showing people how I put my lashes on. And I just pretty much go on the band. I wanted to put like eyelash extensions, like the things that you go to the actual nail salon or wherever to get it done. But then I'm like thinking, I'm like, I rub my eyes a lot. So I feel like that won't go very well with me. So that, and then I put that to the side so it doesn't fall over. So. Let's see if I can put this here and you can see. Sorry, I have to move my mirror up. And if you guys haven't noticed, I put glitter on my eyes. <laughs> so all I do is just take it and go right in the middle. Oh, this is not gonna work, hold on. Um, yeah, so I go right in the middle. This is gonna be hard, so give me a sec. And then I just apply them to the sides. And then I just kind of like squish them in place so that they stay on. The one that normally gets me is the inner corner one because it never wants to stay. So I have to like really push them in. then that's pretty much it. I don't... Um, they're hard if you don't know how to do them. Like, for your first time, they're going to be a little difficult. So my suggestion is to get the lashes that are thinner, like the band are th is thin, because the thicker ones are so much harder to put on. You want to kind of like stick to the natural look. Okay, so these, this is another brand. It's, um, it's upside down, sorry. Bold Face. Um, and these are the collection Muse. If I can get it open. And these have like a thick band. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but you see those are thick. Those are really thick. And then these are thinner. So if you have these, these would be easier for you to put on if it's your first time. People say like the thicker the band, the better it is to like maneuver, but I don't think that's true. So, I mean, it's what you prefer to work with if you think having the thicker band is going to help you better then you do what's best for you so again all i'm doing is taking all my um, tweezers and put the glue right on the band sometimes when you have um smaller eyes you have to cut them like, but if you're going to cut them, I would cut them from the outer corner because you don't want that. Like, it's better just to cut them on the outer side than the in. So, like, if you're going to cut, I would cut on this side, not the shorter end. Mm. And then you want to let the glue dry a little bit. So that's why I'm not... That's why I'm not putting them putting it on right away after I put the glue. You want to let the glue dry a little bit to get a little tacky. Because if not, like when you go to put them on, the um, 
it come like when you go remove the tweezers it comes with it still because you wanted to have that tackiness to be able to stay on your eye okay let's see this is hard trying to show you guys on the phone all right Yeah, so sometimes it takes time to do it, but I kind of have to like see a lot better up close yeah and then that's pretty much it I don't normally put lashes on all the time because Sometimes they just get on my nerves and don't want to work with you. I'm surprised that it worked well right now. Because most days it just doesn't want to do it. But. And I normally put um, mascara on first. Because if you put mascara on your lashes, they don't, they won't last long. You would have to clean them and... It's better just to have them where you don't put mascara on because it's, like I said, it, it just ruins the lashes sometimes, at least for me. And yeah, so I pretty much, I'm done. Like, I don't go in again with mascara because, like I said, I like to savor my lashes so if you don't put any like stuff on them it lasts longer and um all you would have to do is just peel off the glue like when you go to reuse them so i'll put these back in here and take the glue off when i go to use them again because it's just the way i normally do it so yeah so this is basically the completed look um I'm gonna put some lip gloss on. You you should already know which one I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in with my um, frozen frozen one from ColourPop. I should start using actual like lipstick, but. I don't have um, lipstick, like nice, like a nude kind of lipstick. So, all right. So I'm going to give you guys a little close up. So this is it. The lashes. Um, the lashes are just the Ardell Professional Natural Lashes. Um, I normally get the um, Salon Perfect. It's, you, they're like a Walmart brand. You can go in and get a, like a pack of five for like five ninety nine, or I think it is, or ten ninety nine. I can't really remember. It's been a while. Um, I just got these on sale from Ulta, so I decided just to get these. Um, and I normally just stick to the natural. And I do order from Bold Face Lashes, but they're kind of expensive a little bit like they are but then they're not like sometimes they have like a sale but i rather have my lashes like right here in front of me and instead of waiting for them in the mail so yeah but they're good lashes like you can always go and pick those up um yeah so this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys soon and please like and uh subscribe and 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 um, click the notification bell so you can get all my future uploads. And if you could, please share. Um, I will see you guys soon. Bye.